All right, so this is Matthew Maloa here, and I'm in a doing a trail walk with Chico, enjoying the nature. And I thought this would be a nice vantage point for you to come along for a walk as I talk about what I see happening in the future. So. Being a detoxification specialist, it's a title, but it's also, it's a lifestyle that I, I like to live by. And I like to surround myself in people that have something in their life or wor are working towards a goal in their life that is thinking big thinking outside of the way things are being run right now at this moment in beginning to open the mind and the possibilities to how we can all serve each other in our own ways because we all have a service that I believe can help one another and that's actually I strongly strongly believe in this fact that if you find your service for others and if you find the way if you find your service for others that will help them and at the same time make you happy then that is what you are here to do if you help others to be happier have you ever done that have you ever done such a thing surprise somebody with a gift or a or a surprise that just opens up their eyes in their heart to you and it, then it, it it's a feedback to you because on a different level we are electromagnetic beings not just these physical bodies that age and die we actually have more to us I could finish it off with meets the eye we have more to us then we are being led on to believe by maybe our parents conditioning and it's not anything against our parents because they clothed us fed us housed us they gave us shelter they created us gave us our body and they were given theirs so we must always be thankful for our parents who gave us this gift of life to be able to learn more and much and as much as we can and I think we learn more when we are around others who are different, but there always needs to be in a community, I think community-based, because that's really, realistically, come on, can we just all admit it that that's the only way we can actually survive on this planet? I mean, with our current technology. So, if we just manage to come together say bring 200 people you have 200 acres I don't know that's just a figure that's an acre of food per person and if you have four farmers covering three acres and then those three far those four farmers are one team and you have many teams of farmers all covering three to four acre plots, then you'd have an army of farmers doing organic, heirloom style, non-GMO, non-pesticide, completely pure food sources that just, when you eat them, your energy level is or your energy is coming from that the energy life force of that food. I don't know, that's one way of thinking on an energetic level. And that's why fruit is so damn powerful because it has the highest electrical value of any food source on this planet. Other than steroids and you know protein of course, because those things you just they're so they're so far superior. Okay? And uh, this is on my mind right now. It's just something about 
something on my mind about uh, I want to talk to the people that don't understand detoxification and how it's done. The whole point of detoxification is to cleanse the body of the things that no longer serve it. And it doesn't bug me that when people ask me where do I get my protein and why are you so skinny? But it it makes me sad that they don't understand the concept and they continue living the protein diet and think it's serving them so well. But they're thinking and looking at the immediate results. Because I've heard some people who've gone all fruit and lost their teeth or their teeth got loose and they started to feel weak and they had no sex drive, their libido dropped after seven months of fruit only. And I gotta hand it to them, that's impressive. But when we get down to the heart of the matter, that is detoxification. Detoxification for me is learning to let go of your identity and your ego and what you perceive yourself to be and what you then perceive others to perceive of you. And when that contradicts, when somebody contradicts what you think of yourself, that limits you and and really deflates your love of life and everything that maybe you you think of yourself somebody doesn't think that and then all of a sudden you get in an altercation but if you let go of the ego and if you let go of the body you think you need to have that would draw in the the mate of your dreams then what i would suggest is that you Make yourself more open to the idea of having less. You know, less muscle, less less ego, less maybe less friends that are only with you because you wear the same jeans as them or you wear you you uh, you like to go drinking and whatever it may be, but that's your choice of life. Maybe maybe that's your lifestyle is is drinking and getting all that crazy stuff going but uh, if you can learn to think about something else other than yourself great things start to happen when you start to serve others the most powerful times of your life will occur and I can tell you from my experience that life really begins when you learn to let go learn to love and just just give in give in to something greater than yourself because we surely didn't create this planet on our own we may perceive the reality of it and that's what makes it real in our minds but really something else greater than ourself which is a macrocosm of us is creating this and it's endless and infinite and it's both in and out up and up and and down it's everywhere universally and infinitely so this is a call to action how do you feel I want you to think about how we can get something going a community based fruitarian or raw community anybody's welcome I mean, initially, I think it should be people that are willing to put time, money, and work into this. Uh, What that means is, essentially what I'm saying is, unless you have a lot of money, honey, then, and you have kids that can't work, at this point, I would say, to build a strong community, you would need first need, and this is going to be a... uh, uh, definitely going to be a conflict of interest for some people and it's going to raise a bit of a an issue but what I'm saying is is that we can't uh, at first we need to build a community that we all get a piece of what we put into it and if somebody can't put into it that's not how you build a surviving community and I think surviving communities of the future will be stronger if they have a better foundation and a foundation is essential. So I'm going to leave that as the call to action. I want to know what you, what, what exactly are you going to have to say about that mothers out there? You know, 
mothers with babies that you're going to say, oh, I could work twice as hard as you, and I'll pay for those babies. I'm not going to feed you anything. You're not going to come to my community. But uh, <laughs> what's really funny is that I'm all out here alone with this view, and I'm choosing to talk to a camera. So I'm going to shut it off now because I really came out here just to, yeah, just to blank out. Okay, bye. Matthew Malore, blah. I gotta do the, gotta promote myself. Matthew Malore, subscribe to my YouTube and friend me on Facebook. And great things will happen to you. You will be rich. As rich as the man who owns large acreages of beautiful land. Okay, bye bye.